There is a software that massively upgrades your GoPro recordings. It is easy to use and creates what every GoPro user wants. Smooth and perfect stabilized shots. In this video I present you the GoPro stabilization software Real Steady Go. Show you examples of how powerful it is and demonstrate how you can massively enhance your GoPro shots. The best way to show you how powerful Real Steady Go is, is an example. I took my old GoPro Hero 7 and made a few freehand shots. First I show you the original raw footage and then the stabilized Real Steady Go videos. In my opinion, this is impressive. Real Steady Go massively enhances the footage. It looks cinematic and professional, while the original looks amateurish and shaky. But how does it work? The special feature is Real Steady Go uses the data from the GoPro gyro sensor for stabilization. This stabilization method achieves impressive results where even the hypersmooth function is left behind. In addition, an optic compensation is performed, which makes the footage look natural and cinematic. Here is a tutorial, how to use Real Steady Go. In general, the Real Steady Go software is very simple to use. Via the button Load Video, a GoPro video file can be imported. Real Steady Go only allows the import of GoPro video files. Video files from other cameras cannot be imported. Currently, the following GoPro models are compatible with Real Steady Go Hero 5 Black, Hero 5 Session, Hero HD, Hero 6 Black, Hero 7 Black, Hero 8 Black, Hero 9 Black and the Hero 10 Black. After importing the GoPro video file, Real Steady Go immediately starts analyzing. The green markers indicate the points where the video is synchronized and stabilized using the gyro sensor data. These markers can be easily deleted or created. By default, you don't have to add or delete any markers, because Real Steady Go does everything automatically. In the settings menu, parameter changes can be made. The smoothness slider can be used to influence the stabilization result. The cropping speed slider can be used to adjust how fast the dynamic zoom should change. Real Steady Go works with dynamic zoom factors for video stabilization. This means that the video is zoomed in more when there are more shaky spots and less when there are fewer shaky spots. This maximizes the quality. For fine-tuning, you can unlink smoothness and cropping speed. Most of the time, I would stay on the default settings, because they are fine. By clicking on Lock Horizon, the horizon can be fixed, which is very helpful in some cases. The option Flip Gyro Data must be activated if you use your GoPro inverted. Activate the selection Use Sync Points if it is not active to synchronize the gyro data with the video for the best stabilization results. In the next step, the video can be exported by clicking the Save Video button. After the export is finished, you can look at the final result. You will notice the following. If you use a 16 to 9 video, it will be cropped 
to 16 to 7. And if you use a 4 to 3 video, it will be cropped to 16 to 9. This cropped format results from the lens correction and stabilization. Here are the best GoPro settings for real steady Go. In this example, I'm using my GoPro Hero 10. The most important point first, Hypersmooth must always be disabled, otherwise real steady Go will not work. So always make sure Hypersmooth is deactivated, no matter which GoPro model you use. I would recommend you to set the aspect ratio to 4 to 3. This will give you an exported 16 to 9 real steady go video. You can then choose the resolution and frame rate as you like. Real steady go supports most of the combinations. My favorite real steady go setting on the GoPro Hero 10 is 5K, ratio 4 to 3 and 30 FPS. The results are brilliant in my opinion. I don't know any other program that delivers such good results in video stabilization. For me, Real Steady Go has become an important software that I use in almost my GoPro projects. Real Steady Go is for all users who want to get the best out of the GoPro shots. The effort is higher compared to simply activating Hypersmooth, but the results are much better with Real Steady Go. You can test Real Steady Go for free with some limitations and see it for yourself. If you want to use the full version, you currently have to buy it for $99. I was skeptical at first, but the cost-benefit ratio is unbeatable. Real Steady Go is worth every penny in my opinion. Click on the link in the description and use the code GIMBALGURU to get a discount and purchase Real Steady Go for less. Here is another Gimbal Guru tip. As already mentioned, Hypersmooth must be disabled to use Real Steady Go. Therefore, I recommend the use of a gimbal. This will pre stabilize your GoPro videos and give better results in Real Steady Go because the footage doesn't need to be cropped as much, so you get the best and highest quality output. In the video description, you will find all the important links. If you liked the video, I would be happy about the subscription. I see you in the next video.